Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After selecting the Shape tool within the toolbox, you can select the Rectangle tool in the Tool Options bar to create rectangles by clicking and dragging from one corner diagonally across to the other corner over the area in the image where you want to place the rectangle. Note that you can hold down the Shift key on your keyboard after you begin to click and drag to draw a perfect square instead of a rectangle if needed. Be careful not to press this key before dragging your mouse after drawing your first shape. Pressing Shift is also the keyboard shortcut for Add to Selection, and it will act as such if you depress it before drawing a new shape when there is a shape layer selected. Note that this same trick also works for rounded rectangles. When you select the Ellipse tool, you will draw an oval-shaped area from corner to corner over the area that the ellipse will cover. If you want to draw a perfect circle, hold down the Shift key after you begin to click and drag your mouse. You can also draw from the center of where you want the circle to be placed diagonally outward while holding down the Alt key to draw an ellipse if desired. Be careful not to press the Alt key before dragging your mouse after drawing your first shape. Pressing Alt is also the keyboard shortcut for Subtract from Selection, and it will act as such if you depress it before drawing a new shape when there is a shape layer selected. Drawing a polygon is like drawing the ellipse while holding down the Alt key. You click and drag from the center of where you want the polygon to be placed outward to its edge, and it will grow as you drag in all directions. Note that in the Tool Options bar, you can specify how many sides you want the polygon to have by using the Sides text box. You can select the Line tool to draw a line of the width that you type in pixels into the Width text box in the Tool Options bar. Then you simply click and drag to create a straight line. Using the Custom Shape tool is a bit different from using the other drawing tools. First, select which shape you want to draw after selecting the Custom Shape tool by choosing a shape from the Shape drop-down that appears in the Tool Options bar. Then click and drag in the image file to create the selected shape. Remember that holding down the Shift key after you begin to click and drag to create the object will constrain its proportions if you wish. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.